Get rid of cellulite for good, better way to lose flabby fat. Today, we delve into an issue that many find troubling yet often misunderstood, cellulite. Commonly manifesting on the butt, thighs, and hips, cellulite's dimpled appearance is not merely a cosmetic concern, but a reflection of deeper physiological processes. It's essential to recognize that cellulite intensifies with certain life stages and treatments, such as pregnancy, hormone replacement therapy, and menopause, highlighting its hormonal underpinnings. At its core, cellulite is less about fat and more about the breakdown of collagen, a crucial structural protein in our skin. This breakdown is largely fueled by excess estrogen, which not only destroys collagen fibers and elastin, but also harms fibroblasts, the cells responsible for producing collagen. This process is compounded by an excess of the enzyme aromatase, further undermining skin structure and leading to the characteristic appearance of cellulite, but estrogen and aromatase are just part of the story. Other factors contributing to cellulite include enlarged fat cells, thinning skin, impaired circulation, fluid retention, a congested lymphatic system, and muscle atrophy beneath the affected area. Moreover, hormonal imbalances involving cortisol, growth hormone, insulin, melatonin, and DHEA deficiency can exacerbate these issues, underscoring the multifaceted nature of cellulite. Here's how to address each aspect. 1. Combat muscle atrophy, strengthening the muscles under the affected areas, can make a significant difference. Incorporate lunges, squats, retro walking, and sprinting into your routine. These exercises not only improve muscle tone but also enhance blood flow and lymphatic drainage, too. Enhanced circulation, improving blood and lymph circulation, can help mitigate fluid retention and support skin health. Rebound exercises, red light therapy, dry brushing, and regular massages in the affected areas can stimulate circulation, aiding in the detoxification and nourishment of skin tissues. 3. Boost collagen production, addressing the collagen deficit is crucial. Intermittent and prolonged fasting have been shown to promote autophagy and collagen synthesis, potentially reversing damage. Additionally, using an aromatase inhibitor cream directly on the affected areas can counteract estrogen's harmful effects on skin structure. Avoid common mistakes. Success in reducing cellulite also means avoiding certain pitfalls. Exercise with caution to prevent injury and ensure adequate muscle stimulation without overexerting sore muscles. Prioritize quality sleep to support hormonal balance and skin health. Lastly, patience is key. Reversing cellulite is a process that takes time and consistency. By understanding the intricate dance of hormones, collagen, and lifestyle factors that contribute to cellulite, we can adopt a more holistic and effective approach to managing it. Through targeted exercises, lifestyle adjustments, and patients, it's possible to not only reduce the appearance of cellulite but also improve overall skin health and body function.